how to scan large documents on a standard size scanner if you have a large document you want to scan but you have only a small bed scanner how do you do it i'm going to show you that and this is going to require photoshop so you're going to need photoshop to uh, scan this uh, i don't want to show my sensitive documents so i'm just going to scan uh the yesterday's newspaper the front page of yesterday's newspaper instead and i will show you how to do it we need to scan so let's open up the scanner bed um, just take open where the scanner where on the scanner bed um, the scanner can actually scan this scanner is here and here so let's put part of the paper here you don't have to go to the edges just just get a quarter or there thereabouts and close it stand it then uh, move to the other side you can uh, rotate it it doesn't matter photoshop will fix it then later just make sure you're scanning within the margins then over here and uh, then over here. Now I'll actually scan it and bring it into my computer. Then I'll show you the rest. Uh, I've scanned the newspaper in. I've scanned them in six parts. And uh, let's uh, merge them together with Photoshop. Just gonna search, open up Photoshop. What you will want to do is click on File. Click on Automate, then Photo Merge. You can just leave it at Auto. Let's select the files, click on Browse, Desktop, Newspaper. And let's select all these files. I've scanned all these files as JPEGs. You can choose whichever format you like. And Let's blend the images together. Uh, let's also constant aware fill. And let's, let, can leave everything else as is. And uh, click OK. It's, the next part is going to take a little bit of time. I will speed it up in the video, but it will take some amount of time to do. OK. Finished quicker than I thought, and we're done. You can, now you have the entire file ready. You can crop it if you'd like you can just take perspective crop to just scan in exactly what you want or you can just leave it as is and click on crop perspective crop tool and let's select the edges And we're done we can just now save it let's save this export it export as jpeg and you can uh, select the quality and scale to get it to the right file size let's export all let's go to the file and see how our result is we were able to scan this large newspaper on a standard A4 uh, scanner bed and uh, looks great. I can't really see any stitching marks anywhere and uh, you might want to press down on the scanner with the, you can put something heavy on top to make sure that it lies flat. It's standard scanner stuff. I just did it quickly just to show you it's possible. There are no stitching marks anywhere came out pretty good so i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video like if you have any questions leave a comment below please subscribe to the video i really want a thousand subscribers so i can start monetizing this channel and thank you stay awesome